throughout the conference has been put a stress, or at least at the level of the public opinion, on sexual matters and things. Uh, I think that there are different chapters in the document that could be improved, and that is our present concern. And when we're talking about language, we're talking about uh, the most controversial, important issues being discussed in small contract groups where there's no simultaneous translation. So in addition to vagueness of terms in whatever language you're talking about, we're also talking about many countries who just simply can't follow the document at all because they don't understand the main language, which is English. You don't know what is it, sexual orientation. Means, means pedophilia, for instance? Nobody, nobody answered that question. Uh, unless juridically is defined what it is, I, I think uh, it shouldn't be a term so ambiguous in a document at the international level. That I call to order the fifth meeting of the main committee. I invite the committee to consider the remaining sections of the draft platform. This day is when you talk about safe motherhood, you only hear of abortion and contraception. The whole big se seminars and conferences call it safe motherhood. You go there and you only hear how to abort uh, teenage girls who are pregnant and put them on, on, on the pill. The woman who wants to have a baby has been, that's your business. You have it any way you want, wherever you want. Nobody's interested anymore. I think it's a betrayal of a people. Uh, babies also have to be born. Not, not all babies have to be aborted or not all women want contraceptives all the time. I think this has been a massive failure and I don't think I think so alone. I believe even the delegates who sat inside there know that something has been lost or has been betrayed which they may not be able to get back, for example. <laughs> What was, oh, the city, that was what the city was going around with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.